in one of the driest Februarys seen in many years across here in Southern California with well above average temperatures given away to a very active and rainy March. Your forecast starts now. <laughs> Alright, welcome to SouthernCaliforniaWeatherForce.com. Here is our long range model that went from February 26th till now. And this kind of shows that we're well below average for in terms of precipitation anomalies. Now, that's exactly what's been happening for the entire month of February. And here was the January 26th forecast for the month of February. And that was right on target with barely any storm systems in the area. Yes, we had somewhat of a rain event not too long ago, but other than that, nothing really to write home about for february as we move into march march going into the 7th is looking really good look at that we got uh, pretty much uh, rainfall across the entire area of southern california stretching all the way up to the pacific northwest so yes a lot of rain is going to be hitting the area from now uh, until about March 14th. And then we go from the 14th until the 21st. We still have above average rainfall in California, including our area in Southern California. So storm systems are still expected for that period. We go from the 21st to the 28th, and we still have storm systems. Now it's kind of lessening down a little bit as we start to shut the door for the month, but it still shows storm systems into our area of Southern California, stretching into where we need it again, Central and Northern California, with drying in the Pacific Northwest and tornado alley sparking in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and the Southeastern United States. Now, what about temperatures? You know all about the rain. I've been saying it for a while now, but temperatures now, the temperatures right here show that between now and March 5th, we have well above average temperatures before the storm system starts. That is indicative of what the entire month of February has been like thus far. As we go from March 5th through the 10th, we still have above average temperatures in some areas of the forecast area. But other than that, it looks like it's starting to cool down as the storm track does dip into our area. So the first few systems, or should I say a couple systems, are probably going to have snow levels somewhere above 5,000 feet. Which, again, it's March, so the sun angle is high. You can't expect really much low snow level in March, with the exception of we get a really big uh, cold air mass in the area. From March 10th through the 15th, as we start to get into the mid part of the month, we get average temperatures and two slightly below average temperatures for that period. And then from the 15th to the 20th, we get much below average temperatures for the entire area of Southern California, stretching all the way from the 20th into the 25th. So what we're looking at is going to be a warmer than average but stormy period from March 5th through the 15th. And then after the 15th, we'll have some storm systems coming in coldest storm systems coming into Southern California from there until the last half of March. So the last half of March looks stormy and cold in a sense. The first half is warm and stormy. So more of a tropical atmosphere with the first couple storm systems after March 5th and 6th. And just to show you what the first two storm systems may bring to the table, this shows that we have well over two to three inches in the metro areas of the forecast area. And that's just a couple storms. We have a storm train lined right up for the entire month of March. Stay tuned to SouthernCaliforniaWeatherForce.com.